Hello everyone, Sam here from Super Nerds Gaming and I am back for a charity shop pickup video. Now, I have been accumulating a lot of charity shop pickups. Some of the times it's been quite thin on the ground, other times I've gone into them and there's just been a great amount of stock there. But I do think with what I've got here, like this, where my hand is, it's just down here where my stuff is, that's why I'm looking there. I have got a mega haul of charity shop pickups and I do hope you will enjoy this video so without further ado let's get into it so getting kicked off on this charity shop pickup video these are like my most recent charity shop pickups and I am really really happy to pick them up so we have a PSP here and um, it has a hard case cover for the front that's bolted on where the camera would normally go if you lift it up it's in the screens fantastic whoever sorry i say whoever it does say the name of who had it beforehand and it was megan if you can see that um is kept it in really good condition the only problem i had with this when um i tried to fire it up is the battery is blown so what i've done uh, for the quick solution is i've swapped it with my psp battery holds the charge fine and we i have updated so we can play this game so we'll just put it in as a bit of a tester the game i'm putting in is r type tactics which if you've never played is so worth it it's such a good game all right just let it load up a second and then we'll get to this item here yeah the psp going there and this should come up and there we go. Um, I'm not actually going to go into the actual game because it's this one takes a while to load up. I actually should have picked a quicker game to load up on it. But um, it plays fantastically. Um, again, even though I didn't get this in the hall, R-Type Tactics, if you've never played it, get on it. If you like your strategy, it's an absolutely brilliant game. So that's all working. Apparently there is a bag of games that go with this. And I might be getting it in the next few days. If I do, I'll do an update video. But it'll be in the quick gamer bites kind of format. So keep an eye out for that. So we'll just turn that off. There we go. We'll move that to one side. And also we've got this. Now, I didn't actually know what this was. I thought maybe it's a uh, an SP game holder and that. And, and I was quite happy that I was wrong. Because if we open this up... Have I just sealed it? Ah, I've just sealed it. Oh, God. Right. It is a Nintendo DS. Now, it's uh, the app, it's absolutely in mint condition. I have a white Nintendo DS. And all around the edges here and here is like dirt that I just can't get off. Because it's like underneath the rubber. But this is in like an immaculate condition. It's got the stylus here as well, which sometimes gets lost. And it's actually got the cover here for the Game Boy port, which is a bit tough to get out. But there, it's got the cover to protect it. And we'll put that back in. Um, it did come with one game, blah, 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 brain training, which you'll see in every bloody tra charity shop. So, I haven't actually tested it out with the game. So, we'll go into my little Zelda case here. We've got games in here, and I'll pick uh, Super Mario Brothers, and we'll give this a quick test, see if it comes on. <clears throat> now, the actual uh, machine turns on. I did charge it up last night, and it worked fine. Um, what's going on here? It's just white. Right, this is not what happened last night. Unless it's a startup menu. Right, let's just turn it off. And take the game out. It might be because there was a game in it. <clears throat> ah, yeah, so. I'll uh, just fast forward this bit and we'll get to the game bit. A few moments later. And here we go, we've got Mario, Super Mario Brothers running on it. And we'll just do world one. So it's it's running fine. There's a weird sound when it starts up. Um 
But other than that, it's okay. Let's just see if it plays fine. Oh, it plays fantastic. You forget how good the DS looks sometimes. Well, I do anyway. That looks fantastic. Right, turn that off. Otherwise, I'll be here playing it all day. And we won't get this video finished. So, let's get all this out the way. Oh, uh, before we move on, there's another thing. Now, on this case was this kind of charge port. Uh, at first I thought it was a USB kind of thing, but no, it carries batteries in here. And if you connect it to the charge port of your DS, when I do it the right way, it charges it. So that's actually a charger on the go, like a mini power bank for it, which I thought was quite novel, but really good. Moving on. Right, these next three games I picked up from Cash Generator and I think it was buy two, you get one free. So the first one I picked up is Metal Gear Solid 4, The Guns of the Patriots. Now, my biggest memory with this game is my mate Lee trying to show it to me. And just the cutscenes went on and on and on. Now, I am not the biggest fan of Metal Gear. I love the series, love the music and that. But um, there's other people who I've put before me as bigger fans. And it's one I've not played. So I was in, I'm was i building up my 360 and my PS3 collection. And it's one I didn't have. So I thought, you know what? While there's an offer there, I'll pull the trigger and pick it up. Now, the cardboard sleeve is pretty banged up in the sense it's all dogged around the side and that. But the actual case is fine and... It's all okay inside. So we got Metal Gear Solid 4 there. Right, we're moving on. Next one I picked up from Same Shop Cash Generator. That's the second purchase from there. Is Rocky for the GameCube. Now, I, I'm not a big like boxing fan, but it's Rocky. Everyone kind of loves Rocky. And um, anytime I see a GameCube game that I can acquire that I don't have, and it's a pretty cheap price, I will pick it up. I think this was like one ninety nine there. When are you ever gonna argue for one ninety nine for the GameCube game? And it's all there, uh, all complete. So <clears throat> as much as I don't know much about it or if it's any good, it's a GameCube game, so I thought, you know what, I'll pull the trigger on that and I will pick that up. And lastly, I'll just move these on, is too human for the Xbox three sixty. Now, this was like a massive kind of game that was going to be change everything from Silicon Knights. And it just never. I mean, if you want to look at all the controversy this game brought up, you just need to go and Google it because there's so much. And I do believe there was like an order that these games had to be destroyed or something. Uh, not that they really did because you will find this quite uh, in a few cash generators or cex and you won't be paying quite much for it but it was a hole in my collection that i needed to fill even though i probably i've, I've i don't know whether i will get into it anytime soon just probably because the negativity surrounding it and it's just not meant to be a generally good game but as i said i had that two human shaped hole in my xbox 360 collection and I'm filling out a lot of them holes now with games that I wanted to get or games that I need to get for that collection. So this was just, you know, there. So even even though you look at the other two games, this was the free one. We'll look at it as a free game and we'll not speak about it anymore. Right, this next bundle of games was from a Bernardo's um, in um, a charity shop that was close to me where I live on one of my hunts on like a Sunday. And I picked up quite a bit of PS3 game. Well, they're all PS3 games here. And it is the, the first one I've got is Motorstorm Apocalypse. And um, <clears throat> I picked it up just because I believe the Motorstorm games are, are really good. I've only played one. So, uh, yeah, they were going for a pound each. So I couldn't say no. Um, I don't know how much they would go for in like a CEX or a cash generator. But... I imagine a bit more than a quid, so I pulled the trigger and I picked it up. So I've got Motorstorm Apocalypse. 
I've got Motorstorm Pacific Rift. I've got Original Motorstorm. I got Ridge Racer 7. And I got Virtual Tennis 2009. So this was all from the one charity shop. And for £5 for these uh, five games, I think it was good. Definitely the Motor Storm. I think I'd definitely sink my teeth into it. Ridge Racer is probably just more for the nostalgia of the brand of Ridge Racer because it used to be one of my favourite racing games on older systems. And Virtual Tennis, well, vir you know, Virtual Tennis is like one of the only tennis games I've actually got into and highly enjoyed was that was back on the Dreamcast. So whether it still sticks with me nowadays, I don't know. But anyway, guys, there was these, there was these, and there was these. What do you think of my charity shop haul? Because that is what it is. It is just an absolute haul. Thank you guys for watching this charity shop pickup video, and I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Did I get some good stuff? Did I get some bad stuff? Let me know. Put it in the comment section down below. And as always, guys, I will catch you next time. <clears throat>